Hello everyone, Isaac Segunro here. Welcome to Optimal Training Group. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something that's probably a frustration to you because it was for me the other day as I was trying to do this um, at work. So, when you want to reset a rich edit text, it's a problem because the rich edit text does not have a reset form. So, I learned this from, I learned how to reset fields from um, Riza Durrani. He's great at Power Platform. You should look him up. As you can see, you what you do is you create a variable reset, and you call it a clear form, and you you add that, you bind it to the reset property of that particular field, and then for your reset button, you do set var clear form true and then false, and then it re it resets. So for example, if I do this, even if, even for it even works for an attachment as well, and I reset as you can see it resets. But when you do it for a the the regular the regular multi line of text, it it does have a reset, so you can definitely do it for that. Um, the problem is when you turn when you turn this into a rich um, edit a rich text field control, it becomes a problem. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's come here justification, expand this. See control type, click on a drop down. If I scroll down to rich text, edit rich text. Once I do that, you would notice that the reset property is disappeared. It's gone. It's no longer there for whatever reason. I don't know why Microsoft or the Power Apps team, did, why they didn't add that. Now there's a way to do it. Um, what you would do is first you go to your screen um, before I go any further, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Monday. I try to do make it practical things that you will probably deal with at work. So please like the video and it, it helps my channel. I appreciate your help. Let's make it a win-win situation. Anyway, so for the screen, on the on visible property, what we're going to do is we're going to say set, let's say um, clear multi text we're going to set it to just a blank right or a space and the next thing we need to do is we're going to come here and we need to change this default we need to bind our variable we just created to this uh to this default property so right now it's locked so let's come over here advance and then let's unlock it and then we can say um var or what did i call it clear oh clear multi-line text um now if you needed that parent that default you can do some type of logic here you know if else if this then do use multi clear multi-text else use the parent that default so you can do that in there you can play with that and then the last thing we need to do is we need to come over here to the reset button go to the on select property of the reset button Actually, not the last. Okay, we do this and was it clear? And then we're gonna say blank. Um, and I lied, but let me show you what's gonna happen. So if I do this, reset, you see it's not working. The reason it's not working is for some reason you need to refresh the page. So the way you can do that, and it's a little trick, so you, you can come here and you can say navigate, and you know, I'm gonna navigate to my home screen. And then I'm gonna navigate back. And it does it really, really quick. The user won't even notice. And I'm gonna say screen. Okay. So now let's try this out. See that works. So I come here, put some dummy data in here, and we add an attachment. And do this. See, that works. So I hope you found this information valuable. I hope you can use it on your projects. If you're able to set this field a different way, please let me know in your comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the help. You know, let's make this a win-win situation. Um, I help you, you help me. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.